So a couple of weeks ago, we had an announcement video where we showed you a new feature that integrates your CI with your editor and your AI assistant. And so what happened is basically you push up a PR, it fails, it will get a notification in your editor right in DS Code or Cursor or IntelliJ. But now the cool part is not just a notification, which has been around for a while, but there's now a button on it where you can click and it will then hand this over to the local AI assistant, which grabs all the information that it requires from CI about the error, has the context obviously of the local code base, and then goes and helps you implement a fix. Now this is really cool, but we just leveled this up. So let me show you. So I'm doing the exact same workflow. I'm here in a repo. Let me go here in the app.tsx file and make a silly mistake. So let me just like mess up this import here. And so let me create a new branch, some cool, awesome feature, and then commit this. Now I have already everything set up here. So I'm just gonna create a PR and I'll show you later how exact you can configure this in your own workspace. So let me push this up to my repo and we should be good to go. Now, if we go to this pull request, you will see the CI kicks in. And since I have configured NS Cloud, shortly after you will also see a comment here pop up where you can click then and you will be ported over to the NS Cloud dashboard, which shows the CI run. Now, while this is running, let me go back to our editor where I have NX Console installed. And NX Console has a dedicated view here, which integrates it with the CI pipelines that NX Cloud is handling. And so in fact, here I see my feature PR that I pushed up and I see the different runs that are currently in progress. I could also jump back to the dashboard here. Now, as in a real world scenario, you wouldn't be sitting here looking at this and staring at this, but you would probably go and continue some other work, either on the same PR or even maybe switching branch to some other PR. Now, after some time, you can see here this failed and I can go directly back into my NX Cloud dashboard and look at the failed task, which obviously didn't build because this is not a valid import. Now what happens though here is if I go back here into my run, you will see down here a new step that kicks in which says fixing broken tasks. And so now AI is running in behind, an agent is being spun up, which looks at the, the problem and fixes it right on NS Cloud. In fact, if I go down here and I open this up, you will see here NS Cloud AI is creating a fix for this problem. And so if I open this up here, you can see a fix is being created. You can also see here the context of the failure itself. So you can basically just see the same log output that we saw already on CI. But the cool part here is that it is completely integrated into your editor experience. So you basically would never have to leave your editor to go to CI to check what's wrong, but is everything right integrated in here? And so once the fix has been created, you can see down here, it shows that there is a fix available. So we will get the notification, especially if you're obviously not monitoring here this view directly. And so you, we can go directly here and just show this fix as well. So now what happens is a fix has been applied. This is still in progress because what happens right now is that NX Cloud reruns all the tasks with this new fix to also verify it actually solves your problem. Now you could wait for this, but if you look at this, you can already see this is exactly how the code should be updated to make our CI pass again. So we could just go ahead and apply a fix. Now for the sake of the demo, let me just wait a second to see how this fix is being validated. So once the CI has rerun all the checks, we also get a check mark that this specific fix here has been verified. So CI is green now, and we can now decide whether to apply it or not. So here you can see the comment message that we can use to apply this fix. Right now this is disabled, but in the future you will be able to also just edit this comment message. And so let me just apply fix for now, because this is a good one. And what happens now is if I go to my PR, you will now see we have two comments which is this one that got just applied. And you can also see the rerun down here, which is now green. So we can go ahead and merge this into our main code base. Back here in the code here, we also got a notification that the whole pipeline now completed with our fix on it. So I can even go back and view the result here, which will bring me back to my dashboard on NX Cloud, which shows here how this specific run succeeded. And we're good to merge. So this is a very early version of this self-healing CI feature that we just shipped with NX Cloud, but you can already try it out now and provide us feedback as we keep improving this over the next coming weeks. So how does this work behind the scenes? Like what do you need to do to enable it on your repo? Well, first of all, you need to make sure you have NS Cloud enabled. 
Now, if you don't have it, you can go and create a new account. We have very generous pricing tiers. So you can just like create a hobby account, enable that, and you're good to go. Basically, that means mostly just running Annex Connect in your local Annex workspace, and that will guide you through the different steps of setting up a new account, connecting it to your GitHub repo, and then you can get going with it. Once you have that enabled, make sure that in your organization settings of your Annex Cloud account, you go in there, you scroll down and you enable the AI features. So this one needs to be enabled at the organization level to opt into the AI features because there's not just the self-feeding one, there's a bunch of others that help you optimize CI runs on the fly. Once you have done that, in your organization settings, go to your specific workspace, which for me is this AI shop, and in those settings, go and enable the self-healing CI part here by checking this toggle. With that, you're good on NS Cloud side of things. Now, locally, you just need to set up your CI configuration. You can generate that with an X, and so it's pretty simple one, actually, pretty straightforward. And this one, I'm using GitHub Actions, you can see I'm just like basically running the installation parts and then running the commands here through NX. And the important line here is this one here, which triggers the NX Cloud integration. Now here specifically, I'm using agents, which will automatically have the self-healing CI feature. If you don't have agents enabled, you can also just after these steps here, run MPX NX Cloud Fix CI. And so this will also enable the self-healing feature even though you're not using agents. And so with that, you should be good to go. So you just like push up a new PR and its cloud will run this on CI. It will detect potential errors and run the self-healing process with an agent directly on cloud itself. Now, obviously, in order to get the notifications locally in your editor, you need to make sure to have NX console installed. Just go to the marketplace, search for NX console, install that one, and that will then give you this view where you will also see the recent CI runs from NX cloud, and you will get the diff viewer that will display the fixes that are being applied, where you can then accept or reject them. So that's it. Try it out on your existing workspace or create a new NX Cloud workspace and let me know in the comments what works, but in particular what doesn't work or what you would like to see improved. We're already working on a bunch of improvements, so it's more than ever important to subscribe to the channel because you will see the updates coming out here as well as on our blog or on our social channels. So happy coding. See you in the next one.